it's Anna from Anna Travels. Um, it is peak bloom season of the cherry blossom of 2022. I am actually near the FDR Memorial. You can see a little bit of it right now. I had I had come yesterday, and it was it was a nightmare. So in the future, if like well, I mean I've, I've suggested this in my um, tips video, but if you're planning to come the cherry blossom season, just just know that traffic is horrific and like it took me just to go five miles within dc it was like about 40 minutes so and this was last night because i think everybody was taking advantage of the beautiful sorry the beautiful weather and you know and it was just gorgeous yesterday today it's kind of chilly i mean it's also like i think it's 9 a.m i forgot what time it is yeah, it's 9.20, and uh, I actually got here 30 minutes ago, and as I was getting here, a tour bus, like, dropped off its, its, its people, and so it was, like, crazy, and then I think a lot of people are taking advantage of the weather because it is supposed to start storming, well, it's supposed to start raining around noon, and I think it's supposed to be really bad weather into the evening, so... And of course, sometimes the blooms, like you can almost, I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera, but they're already starting to flow away with the wind. So I'm just going to take you around a little bit. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to try to make it to the Jefferson Memorial. I always usually go to the other side of the tidal basin, closer to where you can park. Well, you can't park during cherry blossom season, but, um, but I'm closer to the Jefferson Memorial. It, it was funny because when I was pulling in, I went to um, West Potomac, which you can park if you can find parking. Yesterday there was no parking to be had. Today I had to park a little bit farther. I feel good. The baby is, is okay. So I think I can walk all this just fine. So um, last week I was having some issues, uh, not with the baby, but like just health issues uh, related to the baby but the baby was fine so but I feel good this week so I'm gonna take a walk and we'll check out the cherry blossoms I'm kind of far away from it but there's a broken branch yesterday when I was driving around people were like actually sitting on some of the low branches don't do that don't be a jerk these trees are not meant to be sat on So the cherry blossoms go all the way around the tidal basin. And there's also a few spots around the National Monument and along the river that you can also see the cherry blossoms. And I believe that there are also some in Alexandria. So if you walk outside the Martin Luther King Memorial, you make a left, there is the Cherry Blossom Festival stage. You got an info booth, you got a merchandise store. Southwest plane flying overhead. If you don't know, if you've never been to D.C., uh, Reagan National Airport is literally, if there's no traffic, 20 minutes away. Maybe even less. And then another merchandise store. A little activities booth. 
for the kids. A little festival booth and food trucks. It looks like a burger food truck. Sweet frogs, which is frozen yogurt. District small bites. Uh, a funnel cake and looks like hot dogs. They're sponsored by ANA, which is an airline that is from Japan. I hear it's one of the best. I, I can't recall if I've ever flown ANA. It's been a while. Oh, helicopter. It's been forever since I've been to Japan. I'm not really sure what the military paid for because I was a military brat. My dad was stationed in Yakota. And there's a little Cherry Blossom Festival beer and wine. Look like credit cards only. And you can bring your own food. A little, I'm assuming music stand up ahead. Then up ahead. Just seems like porta johns, and I think when I came in, there was a first aid tent up ahead. So, along the Rappahannock, is this the Rappahannock? I forgot. Big river, pretty sure it's Rappahannock. There's more cherry blossoms, and more kids climbing on the cherry blossom trees. Don't come here and let your kids do this. But yeah, so if you want to avoid some of the craziness from the Tidal Basin, sometimes this area is a little bit more quieter. Sometimes. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> like yesterday, it was not quiet at all. <laughs> but it seems like this morning everybody's at the Tidal Basin. Oh, and uh, this is West Potomac parking along the street on this side only. And uh, during the cherry blossom season, apparently the parking's free. I'm gonna grab my breakfast and eat it on the grass or wherever I can find a spot. <sighs> so that was it, guys. I sat down, ate my breakfast along the water. Um, about to head in my car, which is over there. Um, so yeah, so uh, I don't know how, I think Saturday the weather's supposed to be good for the kite festival. I know tomorrow, to, actually not, not tomorrow, today we're supposed to get storms um, starting at noon, which I'm about to head out, so I'll be home. And uh, so I don't know It'll be interesting to see what the cherry blossoms look come Saturday. Um, sometimes heavy storms can really blow off, blow a lot of the blooms away. So we'll see. Um, so I hope you like, subscribe, join me for future videos, and I hope you enjoy this little kind of walking chaotic tour of the Tidal Basin. Um, yep, so I need to go back to work. <laughs> I mean, I've been working on my, a little bit on my cell phone today, but meeting got canceled this morning so that was that was exciting canceled meetings are always good anyways like subscribe enjoy my future videos and i hope to see you guys next time bye